Clearly, they're holding back. They're holding back. They're in a state of shutdown, not wanting to open up. They don't feel safe opening up here. This person is going through a transformation here, Libra. They're going through a huge ending. There has been an ending between you guys and this person going through a huge transformation right now, okay? There's been a huge alteration, okay, in the way they think. They're very different. They've completely changed themselves or something's changing within them after the separation or breakup that you guys have had. Something's been very, there's been a like life-changing event. This breakup, the separation has been a life-changing event for them. They are at a crossroads right now. They need to make a choice. The kind of choice, because this is a twin flame connection, a choice where they, are, they have two roads here. One is the wrong road and the second one is love. This person needs to stand up and fight for the love. They need to fight for this connection, okay, because they feel it. Rather than going for something which is instant gratification or rather than going for short-term relationships or going for something which is just making them happy temporarily, they need to make a choice of going for something long-term, okay, something that's going to be good for them long-term, okay, which is good for their soul. But right now, they're not being able to make a choice because there is a huge transformation that they're going on. And right now, they feel safer when they're shut down emotionally. Okay. This person out here, this could be someone here who's going through a lot of family responsibilities also. Okay. But uh, family and tradition could be a big issue between you guys. Okay. What's the four of pentacles? What's the four of pentacles? What's the four of pentacles? I'm also getting here this person you may need to make a choice between you and family. Or you and the society. Whatever. Okay. But yeah. This is like a life changing decision for them. And they're going through this huge transformation. I feel what's going on. And the transformation is that this person is here, is trying to change the way they think about this connection. Change that belief system. Okay. Or change what they always thought about marriage or something traditional. Four of pentacles. Yeah. See. They're not talking. The love is there. It's there very deep. You know, this person is someone who's very spiritual, probably, okay? They're choosing to hold back. They're choosing to give you the silent treatment here, okay? But they're doing it on purpose because they're trying to do that inner work out here, okay? That's what I'm saying. This person right now does not feel that they can open up to you. They're not ready for it. Because with the moon here, this person's going through a lot of feelings, okay? This person is very, very emotional right now when it comes to you, okay? Or at least within the next 24 hours. This is all about next 24 hours, Okay? But yeah, this person's still going through transformation and they're choosing to hold back. They don't feel safe telling you, okay, because they don't know how you're going to react. And they feel safer watching you from a distance or loving you from a distance where they don't, where you don't really know what's going on in their mind. Okay. It's like I'm getting this person is more like, you know, you can't commit to me. Libra's like, you can't commit to me. I mean, and they come towards you. It's like, hey, I love you. You know, I want to be with you. And you're like, well, you can't even commit to me after so many years. What kind of love do you want? I mean, what is this? You know, is this a joke? Which is why they're keeping quiet. I feel they're going to hold back till the time they don't feel it safe enough to open up. What does this person feel for Libra that in, in the next 24 hours? What will this person feel for Libra in the next 24 hours? What will this person feel for Libra? What do they feel? What will they feel deep down for Libra for the next 24 hours? In the next 24 hours. Too many calls. Not going to take that. Whoa. I just said too many times and you gave me like the entire pack. Okay. Two more cards. What do they feel? Mm -hmm. This person is still resisting change. Okay. They're still resisting change. They're, 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 they're trying their best to move away from you or move on from you, but they can't. They can't. They've tried to move away from you. They've tried to move on from you. They've done whatever they could. Okay. But the problem here is they're not doing it the right way. Is what I'm getting. This person's trying to escape a connection. Okay. It's like, yeah, I have a lot of feelings. I love them. I want Libra, whatever. But oh, I'm just going to shut myself off, you know, completely. And I'm just going to assume that I don't love them. But when they're open their eyes, the love is still there. I hope I'm making sense. Right now, it looks like they're just trying their best to be happy. They're just faking it, you know, like... Fake it till you make it. That's what they're doing. They're trying to show everyone. They're trying to show the world. Or even trying to lie to themselves how happy they are. But deep within, they're dying. They're dying, Libra. They're just trying to make a fool out of themselves. This person, they're not escaping or not trying to make a fool out of anyone else or even you. But they're just trying to uh, deceive their own selves here. Okay, by being very logical and being very practical and, you know. But that's just trying to get away with it. Okay, but they can't. 
Why? Like I said, they're not doing it the right way. Instead of giving you the clarity, instead of moving towards you with communication, you know, they're trying to run away from it. Let's see. Why the seven of swords? Why the seven of swords? They're still being sneaky. Not in a bad way, but sneaky in a way where, you know, they're still trying to get away as much as they can. You know, they're going to reach a point of exhaustion. And I mean, they're just going to come back towards you. But right now, and emotionally, they're just trying to, you know, convince themselves. Oh, I don't love Libra anymore. It's over. It's done with. You know, let me just move on. But they can't. They can't. What's the seven of swords? <laughs> Strength. See? See? Ego. Could be ego. Ego could play a big role out here. But they're just making a big ass out of themselves. And probably you know it, Libra. You probably even know it, that this person loves you to the core. They're just trying their best to try to be sneaky and they're just, you know, um, wearing a false mask. But they're doing their best, Libra, to stay away from you. They're doing their best. Believe me when I say that. They're trying to tame their emotions, their attraction, their passion, their love for you as much as they can, okay? They're going to get there to that point where they know that they're just, they're just going to give up. They're going to get tired of dealing with this very soon. Six of swords, please. Six of swords, please. Six of swords. Again, I'm getting this person could have tried to move on from you. Sorry. This person could have tried to move on from you. What's the six of swords? But they weren't successful. Yeah. This person, uh, I think they were trying to run away from commitment. Okay. They could be running, trying to run away from commitment here. But... I think they're trying to go through that change. They're trying to uh, see things from your point of view. They're trying to change their belief system about this connection. Okay. But uh, there is something. I think they're running away from commitment. I don't know why I keep getting that. Give me one more card for the Six of Swords. Some kind of tradition that they need to fight. A rule that they need to break free from. They're just trying to be happy on their own. I'm getting a lot of fake it till I make it. You know, it's like they're trying to show the whole world. Oh, that's fine. I mean, it doesn't really matter to me. But deep within, they're lonely as fuck. Okay. They are. They miss you. They miss you like crazy. But people like this, right? They'd rather ghost you. Okay. And they'd rather keep their feelings to themselves than come towards you and let their ego and pride fall off and come and tell you how badly or how much you mean to them. This person is probably being divinely guided towards you. Okay. Because it looks like a very spiritual connection to me. They're very emotionally codependent on you, which is why they can't move away from you. You are their all. You are their happiness, okay? And they can't move on without that. But the problem here is that happiness won't matter because till they don't offer you that last cup, which makes it the ten of cups here, they're always going to be like this, okay? Things are not going to move forward. What's the action? What action will this person take towards Libra in the next 24 hours? What action will this person take towards Libra in the next 24 hours? What action will this person take towards Libra in the next 24 hours? All right. <clears throat> this person here. This person has a lot of love for you. Okay, I'm just going to say it right off the bat. This person has a lot of love for you. I clearly feel it also out here. But yeah, because the Knight of Cups came in, this person has a lot of love for you. The problem here is that this person is wanting to take it slow. Okay, what they're doing is by giving this time, they want to stay away from drama, first of all. Okay, they want to have peace, balance and moderation in their life. Okay, they may be losing their shit. Okay, but right now it's like they have a feeling that there is nothing that they can do to fix the situation. Okay, so they'd rather work on themselves or work on something which is at least working for them. Did I confuse you? What I mean is that they'd rather focus on their some on that career, that hobby, that passion, that goal, or whatever they want to work towards. They're trying to master their craft right now, but they're trying to become the best version of themselves, which is in their control, rather than trying to come towards you and make the situation work out. So they want to work on themselves, and by working on themselves, they are going to work on this connection. Okay, so they're waiting for divine timing right now. So yeah, they're making you wait. This person has a lot of love for you with the Knight of Cups here, okay? But I don't see them coming towards you. What's the Knight of Cups here? Maybe for a few of you, this person may come towards you and express their emotions. But I don't know why I feel they're holding, they're going to hold back. 
Knight of Cups is also pursuing something that makes you happy, right? So it does not have to be coming towards you. But what's the Knight of Cups? What's the Knight of Cups? What's the Knight of Cups? See? Yeah. <laughs> Five of Wands. They're not sure. They're conflicted in their head. They're very conflicted in their head. Should I express myself? Should I open up emotionally? Should I be vulnerable? Should I go them and give them this love offer? Okay. Should I offer this person commitment or should I not? The love is there. It's strong. Okay. And it's a lot. This person can sweep you off your feet. Okay. There, this is a romantic night out here. Okay. The lover boy. But too many people. Okay. Too many people eh, around you guys or this is just a tug of war going in their head. Should I, should I not? Should I, should I not? But otherwise right now, this person looks very busy in their work. Okay. But they're just taking their own time. Why the, why the eight of pentacles? What's the eight of pentacles? What are they working on? What's the eight of pentacles? What are they working on? Yeah. They're working on their trust issues is what I'm getting. I said, right? They're doing a lot of inner work here. This person out here right now is trying to better themselves. They're trying to work on these trust issues. They're trying to work on starting a new adventure, starting a journey where there is no roadmap, where they don't get an itinerary, okay? Which is you. So this person thinks you're a risky business, okay? This person has gone through hell and back, either with you or in a past relationship where it's like, dude, I don't want to be a fool all over again, okay? They're trying to work on their trust issues. They're trying to work on themselves here. Okay, and as soon as they're ready to take that leap of faith, boom, that's when they're coming towards you. Okay, so that's what I have for you next 24 hours. Uh, I hope this reading was nice. Leave your comments below, like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.